recycling is really important in the near term. You know, this is really how we can recover those metals, put them back into the domestic closed loop. But I think what a lot of people overlook is that to make a closed loop, the first thing you have to do is, is fill the loop. So you've got to fill it the first time to then make it closed. So we either have to import all of those metals once and then keep them domestic, or we can start filling the loop with our own resources. Indeed. So we're very fortunate to have won you know, two of the grants that Helen just mentioned from the bipartisan infrastructure law in the fall. So we did win one grant for essentially our advanced techniques for battery recycling, how we actually work to bring them to market. And then separate from our recycling program, we also own large amounts of land in central Nevada that bears this unconventional lithium resource, much more of a claystone material. And like we just mentioned in the previous talk, in the US, we have very large amounts of lithium deposits, but not especially large amounts of conventional resources, not especially large amounts of conventional ores and brines. So for us to really bring new material to market and to access these deposits, we can't just copy and paste existing technology. We have to develop new processes for how to access unconventional materials to bring them to the market. So one of the grants we won in the fall is to support a $115 million project to access this unconventional lithium bearing resource in central Nevada that we own and to build a commercial scale refinery.